Okay, so the story is this. There's a dad that tells his, his teenage daughter, this guy's like successful and wealthy. And she's like, dad, I, um, you know, I want to get a new car. He's like, okay, I can get you a new car, but it's important for me to teach, you know, you kids like the importance of hard work and actually producing for yourself. If I were just to give you all the money, you wouldn't, you wouldn't learn like that. She's like, okay, dad, I understand. What do you mean? What are you looking to do? He's like, hey, that, that car in the garage, the old one. Oh yeah, the old one. What I want you to do is I want you to go out to the marketplace and I want you to sell that car and we're gonna take that money and put it into your, your, your new car that you want. The girl's, you know, the dad's successful. The girl's just very positive. She's like, okay, I can do it. So the girl goes out to the marketplace. She meets like a, like a group of people and uh, they go out to the marketplace and they see the car the, and the people are like, I like your car, you know? And the girl's like, yeah, I'm selling it. And people say, if the car's okay, but it has a little bit of rust, has a lot of miles, needs to be repainted. You know, I'll give you, I'll give you $10,000 for it. The girl's like, okay, you'll give me $10,000. Yeah, because of the condition of the car. The girl's like, let me get back to you. Let me go talk to my dad. He actually owns the car. The girl goes talks to the dad, what happened? They said the car will, is worth $10,000. They'll so give me $10,000 cash. That's what the car's worth. He said, no, go back into the market. Girl takes the market, car back to the market, has the car for sale. A group approaches her. They said, uh, what do you want for the car? She's like, well, what are you offering? Second group, right? They said, well, this car has a lot of miles. It's super old. It's in horrible condition. Look at all the rust. This thing is totally, totally not functional. I would be doing you a favor by taking this piece of junk off your hands. I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. The girl's like, no, no, there's no way. She goes back, talks to dad. Hey, what happened? These guys said the car was a piece of junk. It was old, it had rust, and um, they'll give me a hundred bucks for it. The car is, is in bad condition. The dad said, no, go back into the market. The girl goes back in the market one last time, has a for sale sign, a group approaches her. They're like, oh my gosh. A 1963 Chevy Impala, original miles, original paint. The speedometer only shows 200,000 miles. The headliner is perfect. Oh my gosh, it has all the chrome moldings. This thing is in phenomenal, phenomenal condition. Like, wow, what do you want for such a beauty in a rare possession? The girl says, what are you offering? The guy's like, listen, I know the value of this car. I know what it's worth. I know that this level of condition is rarely seen if ever. I will give you $100,000 cash if you would just accept my offer right now, please. The girl says, deal. Shakes the man's hand, he gives her the money, he takes possession of this prized possession. She goes back and talks to the dad, what happened? I had a guy give me $100,000 because this guy, even though the first guy said it was okay condition, the second group said it was in horrible condition. This guy said it was in the phenomenal position. The dad said, what did you learn? Um, the dad said, this is what it is, honey. No matter what you're doing or who you're involved with, know your personal value. There's gonna be people that kinda see how great you are. There's gonna be another group that will never ever get it and never see the beauty of you and never see your value. And there's gonna be another group that says, holy smokes. And if you know that you're a good person inside, and you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to help other people, uh, never lower your value, know your value and find that group. And the girl was just crying and they went to go get her car. That was a lesson. That shit almost hit me in the heart. <laughs>